Hello everybody, Willem Petsa here and today we'll be talking about Police Minister of South Africa, Becky Kele, saying that he wishes to disarm all private citizens and that he wishes to see a South Africa in which only law enforcement officers and the military have access to firearms. Here follows the exact quote from the police minister. It would be better if one day we don't have private citizens having guns at all. It's a tall order going forward, but it would be better if one day only the armed forces, namely the police and soldiers, have access to guns. Now this is a massive problem for a number of reasons and we'll get to that a bit later in this video. But first, if you're new to this channel, on this channel we analyze events happening in South Africa. So if you're interested in that and you haven't subscribed, do so. Also, if you wish to receive updates from us on WhatsApp, send your name and preferred language to plus 27715677162. Now, on my video yesterday, some Americans asked me, how easy is it to get a gun in South Africa currently? So let's talk about that first. Currently, to get a gun in South Africa is a bit of a bureaucratic nightmare. Basically, what we have here is what now the Democrats in America is talking about, common sense gun control. What happens is, you first have to go for a test, an oral test and a written test, to see if you are able to have a firearm. Then you have to go for a competency test in which you are tested to see if you are able to handle this firearm. Then you are allowed to apply for a firearm. Now this process after you applied for a firearm can take up to 6 months. And many times this process is denied. The application is denied so the whole process starts from the beginning again. You need to have a quote unquote good reason to have a firearm. The only way most people get firearms these days is if they first register as a hunter or professional sports shooter. It's very difficult to get a firearm here. It's not like in America where you can just walk into a store, show your ID and buy a firearm. Now, why is this very bad that the minister is trying to ban all firearms? Well, firstly, because this will not only affect private citizens or individuals. This will also affect the private security industry, which is one of the biggest industries in South Africa. Currently, we have more than twice as many private security guards in South Africa than we have police and military combined. Now, of course, there's a very good reason for this, and this is because we have one of the most incompetent and probably the most corrupt police forces in the world. Our police force is not able to provide any protection to its citizens, so it was necessary in this crime-ridden country for us to start our own private security companies. Of course, this is a very lucrative business in South Africa as the demand is very high for private security guards. But this will in effect kill the industry of private security if private firearms are being banned. And also, it would make South Africa, which is already one of the most crime-ridden countries in the world, so much more unsafe. Especially for women in South Africa, as South Africa is the rape capital of the world. The most rapes per capita in the world takes place in South Africa. Imagine a South Africa without the good people being able to defend themselves and without being able to employ any form of private security. Secondly, in South Africa, it is very common for the police to lose firearms which are being stolen by criminals from the police station. It seems like a bit of an oxymoron to think that things are being stolen from the police station all the time. But if you just Google police guns lost or police guns stolen or anything of that sort, Google will throw out a lot of articles from South Africa where the police have lost many firearms in the past and continue to do so right now. If the guns are being banned by the police minister, there's no guarantee and the possibility is very unlikely that this will stop. Criminals in this country will still have open access to firearms because the police lose them all the time and they can be picked up quite easily by these criminals then. Imagine in a country where the normal citizens are not allowed to have guns anymore at all and this is happening with the criminals. No means at all to defend themselves. And the third point that I want to make is actually a very, very sad point. 
I talked about this on my last video, but over the Easter weekend a man named Janis Pell, who is a farmer in the Free State, has been shot dead in a farm murder. Pell went to his gate to open the gate for five men who were dressed in police clothes and who drove in a car with a blue light on top. When he arrived at the gate he was shot dead in cold blood and the men who were wearing police uniforms drove off. Now the investigation is still ongoing on who exactly these men are and I don't have much faith that this investigation will ever be finished because most crimes in South Africa and most murder cases, more than two thirds of murder cases, remain unsolved in South Africa. So this is a very odd situation, hopefully we'll get answers, but I'm not so sure that we will. That's about all for today, thanks for watching, goodbye and God bless.